An undimmable light, an unstoppable force. That's what we thought. She was an attorney. She had an MBA. She won the Miss USA pageant. And as our co-worker, Chesley lit up the office every day. Who says no to Oprah? <laughs> I'm so surprised. <laughs> and the television screen as an extra correspondent. Her dream job. She loved her time at Extra. She really did develop a family here. During her time here, Chesley was working on a book and excited to share it. It's so wild. Like, I wrote a book. A book she finished less than two months before she tragically and very unexpectedly took her own life. There are words on this page. My account of important events in my life. In Chesley's final message to her mother, April Simpkins, she said, First, I'm sorry. By the time you get this, I won't be alive anymore. And it makes me even more sad to write this because I know it will hurt you the most. She also asked April for help getting her book published. There was nothing that was going to stop me from making that happen. Now it has happened. Chesley's new book with a title that speaks to April's loss and Chesley's private pain. By the time you read this, the space between Chesley's smile and mental illness is out right now. A few days before what would have been her 33rd birthday. Today's a cause for great celebration because this was Chesley's dream. I think I've read the whole thing tonight. <laughs> and to see it reach the finish line means everything to me and I know she is dancing in heaven. In the book, Chesley opens up about her battle with depression, her struggle to be perfect, and the pressure she felt from her success. Writing, I had to be perfect because I had to represent for all youth, women, and black people who also wanted to be in the room but had been denied access. We don't always think that someone like Chesley, who had so many things going for her, would have a voice in her head that would make her feel insecure or like she wasn't enough, but she did. Chesley wrote of an unshakable feeling that I did not belong and trying to cope every day with a constant inner voice repeating never enough. My hope honestly is that when people are reading this book, that they see her as human, that maybe they realize they have voices in their head and they need to seek help, seek support, get counseling and take care of themselves. And to help, April's starting the Chesley C. Christ Foundation, with all proceeds from the book going to help people struggling with mental health issues. That would be young adults and teens who are working to support their own mental health. A cause Chesley started advocating for as Miss USA. Hey y'all, I do a lot to make sure that I maintain my mental health. Chesley may be gone too soon, but her legacy and service to others lives on with her deeply personal memoir. By the time you read this. She lived an amazing life. Chesley is not her death. Chesley is not her mental illness. Chesley was an amazing, beautiful woman who chased her dreams. She was passionate about service and serving others. And that is why she has left this lasting legacy on this earth. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, you can text 988 for help. 